Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. It's Codebreaker Gaming back with another video playthrough. And in tonight's video playthrough, we are going to be visiting a game that's been in my backlog for quite some time, but I decided I wanted to give it a try. Crazy of me because there's so many games coming out that I am behind on, haven't started, haven't finished. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're going to be playing Fist of the North Star lost paradise so let's get into this thing and see what this game is all about we're going to a new game keep it on normal lower volume of bloodshed i don't think so I guess we're in. And this dude looks like he's about to be a problem. <laughs> You'll regret disobeying us. Okay, so this is the tutorial. Press square repeatedly to perform a rush combo. Square times four is the most basic attack combination. Hold R1 to lock onto enemies. <laughs> Oh wait, this is good. Finishing blow, press triangle during a square rush combo to land a finishing blow. The attack varies based on the number of times square was pressed. enemy attacks. Heavy attacks will break your guard. Blocking won't stop deleted weapons. Where's everybody else? Come on, attack me. Press X and quick step away from attacks. Use the left stick to change direction. This requires more technique when guarding. Oh, I got it. The top left corner displays Ken's health. If the orange bar runs out, it's game over. The meter flashes red when dangerously low. Heal up with a recovery item or by eating out. Combat practice. Use what you've learned to win the fight. Press R1 to lock onto an enemy. Triangle doing a square combo to deliver a finishing blow. Hold L1 to block frontal attacks. X to quick step. Destiny Orbs to unlock hidden abilities. There are five types of Destiny Orbs. Unlocking different abilities requires different orbs. There are many ways to collect 
more orbs, so don't hesitate to unlock more abilities. Okay, abilities. Unlock special techniques, training, or battle action abilities. I guess that's the only option I have for right now. You can unlock abilities. But it looks like I, I'm limited to what I can unlock. It has to be this first one, which is called the Hukato Hundred Fist Rush. A secret technique to use against trembling enemies. Swifter, swiftly deliver blows faster than the eye can follow against their hidden channeling points. Press circle against an opponent in tremor state. Okay, let's let's unlock this one, I guess. Can I get this one? Apparently not. I don't have any more points. Okay. Unlocking abilities is crucial to going stronger, so learn a new one whenever you get your hands on a Destiny Orb. Hidden channeling points. Hitting an enemy multiple times puts them in a state of meridian shock. Press circle in front of an enemy to strike their channeling points. Circle channeling channeling varies based on how many times they were hit with square. So try different combos. <laughs> change the auto channeling mode settings the fall oh gosh whatever hitting enemy channeling points with circle stuns them press circle in this window for a secret technique hakuta hakuto secret techniques grow stronger with use some moves have certain requirements so refer to the ability on lock screen left meter flashing white is called the seven star gauge fill it up by striking channeling points and using secret techniques secret techniques fill the gauge up faster oh I see it okay a visible aura appears during heat mode press R2 in heat mode for a burst of Kai that powers you up and damages enemies Combo practice. Use what you've learned to win the fight. In square combos or triangle no for finishing way. blows, press circle. When the circle appears over the, over the skull icon. Okay, I got you. I got you. Hundred fist rush. You're already dead. Oh my goodness, this is, this is for real. I'm not gonna take this! Make me 
Damage reduced by 10% while in burst mode. Okay. Attack increases by 20%. Let's take that. Shiro, you have come quite a ways. I want you to let Yuria go. <laughs> let her go? Have you forgotten, Kenshiro? Let me remind you. Yuria belongs to me. Her life is mine alone. Is it all coming back to you now? The day that I proved that I was your better. I left you broken, beaten, pitiful, and squirming on the ground. You couldn't muster up the power to match me, and you couldn't even protect your dear fiancé. You lost to me, all because you were blinded by your naivete. I scarred your body. But you must remember why I spared your life. You live for one reason alone. Because Yuria screamed for you. She swore that she would be mine if I spared you. And so you survived, disgraced and defeated. You can run if you wish to. I'll let you go as one last mercy to the man I cast into hell. Is that all you have left to say? What? I clawed my way out of hell. To kill you once and for all. So you've only come to fail once more. You are a fool. So you have improved, somewhat. Well then, let's see you dodge when I fight at my full strength. This time, you die! You're no match for me. Oh! 
Tell me where Yuri is. All I wanted was to see her smile. All I did was for her sake. My mighty army. My grand city. I only wanted to bring her joy. To give her happiness. But still, nothing was ever enough. Yuria only had room for one man in her heart. You were always there. You're the one she had been waiting for. Now, Yuria's gone. Forever lost to us. What? None of it was for me. It was never about the power. It was for her! <laughs> and now, without Yuria, the battle between us will never end. Farewell, Kenshiro. In the not-so-distant future, the world has been scoured by nuclear flame. The seas have dried, the land has split, and all life has been wiped from the barren Earth. But... the human race lives on! Is that all? 
I thought you said they got loads of gasoline here. Way I heard it, this used to be a factory. So I figure, only reason they wouldn't have gas is if some little punks hoard it all. You never said this place would be such a shithole. Nothing around here but a bunch of old coots and little kids. Damn it! Where the hell's all the gas? With all these fine folks here, we'll just pick them off day by day. Eventually, somebody's gonna talk. Oh? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I got some rage to work out anyway. <laughs> you. Huh? What the hell you want? I need to ask you something. Has a woman named Yuria passed through here? Huh? What the hell's up with this guy? Look, we don't know anybody like that. Then we are done talking. Hey! You don't just walk away from us! If you don't want to die, walk away. Boys! Let's kill this guy! It's too late for you. You're already dead. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? No! Help me! Please! Shit. Here you go. <sighs> my name is Ruka, and this is my grandpa. What's your name, mister? Kenshiro. Kenshiro, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for the water, Ruka. You're a lifesaver. You're the one that saved our lives, though. Those bad men might have killed us if you didn't beat them up. The water is our way of saying thank you. This town used to be a major hub for car production. We managed to survive nuclear war, thanks to underground facilities built for storing diesel and gasoline. However, we're currently short on food and drink. Canned goods and water are scarce around here. All of those able to help have gone out in search of more. The only ones left in town are either children or old folks like me. The local thugs probably know this, and that's why they're always here trying to steal our fuel. Those brutes you took out back there we're nothing new. That's why we spend most of our time hiding underground. Hmm, I see. It explains why the place seems deserted. Only a few of those that went out for supplies 
have returned. Ruka's parents left about a year ago and still haven't come back. Once our fuel runs dry, that'll be it for us. Kenshirel, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. My fiance. She means everything to me. I thought she was dead. But I've heard rumors that someone saved her life. She might still be out there somewhere. So she's alive? Maybe. I'm not sure if those rumors are true. They could be about someone completely different. But... Until I know for sure... I'm not giving up. I will find Yuria. She's all I have left. Yuria? Grandpa, isn't that... Your fiancé's name is Yuria? That's right. Never thought something like this would happen. Fate can be such a curious thing. Not long ago, a group of travelers came through here, looking for a place to rest. Apparently the group's leader was in pretty bad shape. Her followers were treating her with the utmost care. They didn't stick around for long. But I do recall the followers referring to their leader as Lady Yuria. Are you sure? Yes, there was no mistaking it. I remember too. I only saw her face for a second, but she was beautiful. Yuria. Do you know where they went? They said they were heading to a place called the City of Miracles. The City of Miracles? It's just like it sounds. They say it has all the food, water, and fuel anyone could ever want. I heard it's led by someone called the Holy Maiden. She's supposed to grant the wish of anyone who goes there. Does something like that actually exist? It's supposedly located far north of here. Though, I'm not sure if any of it's true. Perhaps it's just a fairy tale. A safe haven dreamed up by those who have grown weary of this harsh reality. I am sure about one thing, though. Those travelers set off for the City of Miracles in hopes of healing their leader. Thanks for all of your help. You're going to the City of Miracles, aren't you? Yes. I have to see if Yuria's really there. I was right. You practice Hokuto Shinken, don't you? Warriors trained in the ways of Hokuto Shinken. They use pressure points to destroy their enemies from within, using only a single lethal strike. Hokuto Shinken. I imagine that's what you used on those bandits. Am I correct in saying so? That martial art. To think that I would ever be allowed to see it with my own eyes one day. I hear that no matter where it goes, strife will always follow. I will be sure to pray for you. Ruka, what if I promised to bring you back something? What would you wish for? What would I? I know. I'd wish for all the apples that I could possibly ever want. Well, okay.
That's it. 